we uh, we're rolling for the first rolling. time, mate. Yeah, how cool is this? Conversation with Ben. Who's Ben, mate? Are you Ben or am I Ben? Well, hi, I'm Ben. Ben who? I'm Ben Co. Who are you? I'm Ben Knopp. I'm Ben Knopp. So uh, it's a conversation with Ben. S- Two Bens. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I guess I'm having a conversation with Ben and so are you. So it works, right? It is. And at some point people will watch our conversation with Ben, hopefully. Hopefully there'll be people watching this conversation, but who knows? It could be just you and me forever. But the reason we decided to start this podcast is because we like to talk and we think we're quite good at it. And we like to talk about the same things. We've got similar tastes, uh, not always, but mostly. And so we thought, why not record our conversations and see if there's anyone out there that gives a crap? Uh, and if not, at least we get to hang out. You know, that's, that was kind of the reason behind this, right? Absolutely. Talking audio, talking gear, talking content and movies that we enjoy and watch, music and scores. Yeah. That's the sort of general direction, but who knows where this will end up, like most of our chats. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> they start in one place, go to a million others, and then sometimes they finish, sometimes they get cut off because my wife tells me to get off the phone or you pull up to work or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, we'll uh, hopefully this will give us a good block, you know. We're going to do it weekly, so it's a good, it's a good block to catch up, to talk about different things. So, what like, obviously this is an introduction to the podcast and we thought, you know, we don't actually have much time because uh, am I correct in hearing that your camera has a very short battery life and we've run it down by testing? <laughs> uh, but, you know, we thought we'd still record an intro podcast and just have a chat. Um, but what do we want to do? Like what, are, obviously we should probably introduce ourselves, but maybe we'll do that idea. first and then we'll talk about, let's introduce ourselves. So who are you, Ben Co? Hello, I'm Ben Co. Um, I'm a musician, a composer and a mastering engineer. Um, I do all that work in around my day job down at the art center in the city. Um, I look after the recording and digital team and, uh, yeah, so an audio lover, a movie lover, a story lover, um, and this is my home studio. And you you get to live it, I guess, uh, through your day job as well. Obviously, you know, the content is not your own and stuff, but you get to lead teams doing, you know, all this sort of stuff, doing broadcasts and audio posts and video posts and editing and all that sort of stuff, um, which is exciting. Um yeah, yeah. So, and that's how we, that's how we met, right? Um, I'm not sure if we met through someone, but I definitely. Well, we actually because I like I was working at the Salvation Army at the time, right? Is that you how were. we first met? Yeah, in Hamer Hall. So I was working, you came in. Yeah. So I was working for the Salvation Army. Oh, I should introduce myself, and then we can talk about how we met. Um, so I'm Ben Knopp, or I also go by Benny Knopp. Most people would know me as Benny, which, uh, funnily enough, I hated being called Benny when I was little, and when I started being in a showman person on stage playing drums or writing dance tunes I was like oh Benny not with an eye is kind of cool even though it's not and it just stuck so um but for this case I'm going as Ben because that would ruin our conversation with Ben if I went with Benny um (laughs) but anyway so (laughs) so I was working for the Salvation Army doing media for them so audio post-production composing um similar stuff as you do yourself but I was working some salvo gigs at Hamer Hall and then we crossed paths. Uh, and then many years down the line, I obviously got a job working f- with you and for you, I would say probably for you at the time, um, and doing similar things. So sound recording and audio post for Art Centre Melbourne, which I still do on occasion uh, and love it. Um, uh, but I, while I was working that job, I went freelance doing, I was doing a bit of composition myself and then moved into audio post production. And now that's what I do and have been doing for a while for myself. Uh, and some people hopefully who watch this may have seen me on YouTube and see my channel. Uh, my, uh, I should tell you. Go on, give it a plug. Give it a plug. Different. Well, look up Benny Knopp or with, a, with an eye, Benny with an eye, um, or Noisy Post. But honestly, if you type in audio post-production, you're probably going to see my face pretty quickly, which is oh, it's exciting, but I've been working hard at that for a good couple of years. 
Uh, and we decided, I guess, let's get started. Uh, obviously, you know, we've been hanging out for years, working together. Uh, we haven't crossed paths when it comes to freelance work enough at this point. Um, you know, we both I have written a lot more in the past. I don't write as much these days, but we haven't composed together or we haven't really even worked on films together, which is something we want to move into. But we talk a lot about this stuff. We talk about the industry and we talk about TV shows, movies, cinema experience, home theatre, whatever. So we thought, why not start a podcast talking about all these things? Um, and we got some other stuff in the works, right? So we're going to start composing together just for the love of it, uh, just for the fun of it, uh, and then see where that goes. So we'll probably do a lot of plugging of that on our uh, podcast as well. But really, this is just a chance for us to catch up regularly and talk shop and talk shit, right? Um, Absolutely. Yeah. And I guess as the audience grows too, um, uh, it'll shape and find its feet and it'll move directions depending on what you all like to listen to and what you want to know about, you know. Um, yeah, for sure. Cool. So, so, so <laughs> feedback will be important, right? Like it'll be, be very, yeah, yeah engage with us. Like us to, we, we want people to yeah. like reach out, hit, you know, comment, chat to us. That your way of reaching out to us is is below the video. So um, if you're one of the few people who will be watching this very first one, um, let us know what you want to see. Let us know what you think. Yeah. We actually, we're going to have to think about this in the future too because not everyone's going to watch it on YouTube, right? So we're going to have probably people listening through uh, Spotify and things like that. So we need a email. We're going to have to come up with that. Uh, sometime and That's maybe uh, let them know. So if you if you can find us on YouTube and comment, great. But anyway, let's worry about that stuff later because that's not really like the first one for us is just getting this thing started um, and shaping like what do we – so the kind of things we're going to talk about, we're definitely keen to talk about, um, you know, we, we don't want to be too techie but we're going to talk about things we love and that's, you know, scores, composers, soundtracks for film and TV – um, so like, what should we maybe review content every once in a while? Like we, so we went the other day, we saw Avatar, right? Um, these are the kind of things we should chat about. So we can just talk about it from a, you know, people who love sound. Uh, we could be talking about the latest Apple announcement to do with spatial audio or whatever it might be. Mm. Um, I don't know what else should we do? Like obviously once we suck in, as you said, getting feedback from people, we can obviously change and adapt, but like, what other stuff do you think we should be trying to cover in a For in sure. a conversation? I was going to say episode, but we're calling it conversations because that's what it is, mate. Absolutely, I think um, it'd be really interesting to chat about what's happening in the industry in Australia um, and projects that are happening here. Um, yep. Also, to chat about our rooms that we have, our our studios at home. Any yeah. updates and as stuff happens, if we're swapping stuff out, things we like, things we don't like um, to use regularly. I mean, I, I'd love to hear and I'm sure people listening would like to know, um, your studio looks pretty cool from what I can see in the frame. Oh, no, I lost my battery. <laughs> we're, we're out. Do you want to change cameras and just go with a shitty one? Uh, um, do we <laughs> want to do that? see how good it can look. I don't um, know. What do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me just see what we can do here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's really up to you, mate. I, like, this is this is us having a conversation. I don't think it really matters. They've seen how pretty it can look. Cool. Um, so what you've just seen there, although it won't go through OBS, so um, it won't be recording, correct? Uh, you should, no, so add a, all right, let's just, we can cut this out. Uh, Video it, caption what device. Is it, what's yeah, can you try a different device? Yeah, let's just do that. As a, it should have your, you should be able to switch it to your webcam. We don't have to cut this, cut this out. I think this is uh, exactly why people are coming here to see us. Um, <laughs> okay, let's well, not. I don't care. It sounds good. There we go. Can you just stretch it to go full screen and then you're good to go? Oh, there we go. How's that? So this is, I might need to adjust my Well, at least now we can see more of your room. It's appropriate now that we're talking about our rooms, you can show a bit more of it off. Yeah, this was well planned. Uh, this is exactly how we intended it to be. Um, oh, it looks better with the light, I think. Bit of 
There's no color in that camera though. <laughs> yeah, it's black and white. I, I haven't chosen <laughs> yeah, black, black and, white and white here. Um, although maybe it's, it's better the... if I do. Um, no, no, no. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there's your second camera angle. Uh, I haven't got mine set up at the moment. Um, so as you can see, this is the culprit of, of what just happened now. Um, it's off. Um, but I probably should get a second battery, uh, Ben. No, we'll work it out. I've got a dummy battery for you. Unfortunately, we have been chatting for already for what a good hour trying to set things up and get things ready and then... We obviously exhausted your whole battery. We kind of worked out halfway through that you're only got a certain amount of battery. So we weren't going to record one tonight. So this is, you're getting a special intro episode. We were just going to set up, but I'm like, stuff it. We need to just get something out. We need to get, get it happening. Um, so Ben, yeah. So tell us, how about let's start with your space because now you've revealed half of it to us. Tell <laughs> us what you've got there in that room. Yeah, so my space is just a home studio. So in my place of residence um, and uh, it's a bit of a hybrid space for mixing mastering and also for my composing work so um, what you see in the frame yes. is pr half of the studio it's quite a small room there's also um, this half over here where I have my guitar amp and my interface and preamps and things like that obviously you can see over here synth land a couple of synths here and behind me a little rack of guitars and I have guitars yeah, scattered little, around. Little rack, yeah, very yeah. little rack there. Yeah, Only yeah. A few. But um, I've got a, a few other guitars in the other room, and um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my speakers of choice are the Amphion two eighteen speakers. Delicious. We uh, probably either we should just put a photo over the top of these, although I still haven't actually captured some decent photos of my studio. Uh, but even if we don't this episode show them off, we'll do a proper video of a walkthrough at some point. Um, sweet. Well, my setup here, so I'm also kind of working in my place of residence. Fortunately for me, we built um, a studio at the back of my house, so where our carport was. We've got a, what did I say, is it like a five by three-ish room. Um, currently rocking a 7.1 setup, except... 5.1 PMCs that you can see here. These are ancient but delicious, especially with Sonar Works. And then I've got these um, Cali Audio uh, in fives that I'm testing out uh, to make it 7.1 because my plan is to turn, get these, put them in the roof, and get Atmos. Mm. So I'll have the the in eights, which are eight inch. So these are only five, but they're they're awesome for the size. They're going to go in the roof, and then I'm going to have eights at the back. Um, that's the plan anyway, but, you know, budget, it's going to be a tough one. Um, but it's, you know, going to cost a fortune and then it's going to sound amazing and I'll forget about the fact that it cost me a fortune. Uh, I'm rocking a 100-inch <laughs> projector screen in front of me uh, with my center speaker behind that. Uh, and then because I do a lot of YouTube stuff and you would know that, Ben, you've been following me from the start, I've got cameras and lights and things which I've – done my best and I'll take photos of it but I've done my best to hide that stuff so that when a client comes they don't just go oh I'm in a YouTube studio some things you know I can take away whether it's take the camera off the stand or whatever but like most things like my key light is hidden in the cloud and stuff like that and backlight as well so you know done my best and not make it feel like a film studio as well as a mixing mixing studio so uh I've rocking some avid controllers um, as well. I've got uh, Thomas, Daft Punk. I took his head when he retired. I went and ripped his head off um, and so he sits in the back there. Uh, yeah, so that's my space. I've got a bit of a hybrid. I occasionally do some Fairlight stuff as well. So I've got some Fairlight controllers that Blackmagic kindly lent me to just test for them and give them feedback on. So some days I'm Avid, some days I'm Fairlight, which is fun. Uh, and I've set up for like a top-down camera as well. So if you check out my YouTube channel, let's plug it again, you'll see. Uh, but Ben, you'd know a lot about that. As I said, you've been a, a long supporter. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, we're planning on working hopefully in both of our studios in the future, right? So we want to do some co composing together in your space, which you will be starting your own YouTube channel, I hear. I we're will be, get that yeah, off the yeah, ground. Absolutely. Uh, what is it at the moment, even though there's no content on there, if, we, if people want to follow you. 
Yeah. Are you um, it's ben- uh, youtube.com forward slash Benco Studio or at Benco, Benco Studio. Studio. Um, and But just the, the name Benco will show up there as well. Um, yeah. And that is going to be. I'm still undecided exactly what it's going to be, but it's going to be essentially me, my interests and my life. So if I'm working on something, you're going to see it. If I'm interested in something, you're going to see it. You're going to see gear reviews, um, how I like to do things, hopefully be able to show you some before and after masters and how I achieve the results. Um, And there might be a vlog or so thrown in there as well, a little bit of a journey. If anything cool is happening, any studio upgrades will be captured. I'm sure when Ben and I hang out, There'll be some episodes there. Um, yeah, and it will I think it will develop over time. Uh, yeah, I need to take a leaf out of your book and I think I need to start doing some more vloggy-based stuff as well because uh, I'm very much stuck to gear reviews and then, t- uh, you know, tutorials and that's it. Uh, I think I need to expand a bit, uh, which would be great because we'll obviously be doing a lot of stuff together as well. Um, so, yeah, the plan is if we do some composing, we might, we'll be putting that on... Ben's YouTube channel, the other Ben, uh, and then if we do any like mixing, particularly we're going to do some mixing in Atmos, and you know we'll do that in MySpace. Um, but yeah, it's going to be it's a lot very of fun. exciting. It is going to be fun. So um, we should do like I was. Um, we were chatting about the other day, but we definitely need to do maybe like a Ben um, Ben's top tip or something, or we need to come up with a clever name for it, but. Mm. Uh, I think every every week let's come up with some sort of tip that we can share with everyone. Mm. Uh, we can take that in turns or something. For sure. Um, it could be a top tip or it could be Ben's question where one of us asks each other a, a question that we think yeah. our audience want to know. Yeah. Um, and it could be fun where we don't tell each other what the question is until the moment. So yeah. we, we throw each other mm-hmm. on, under the bus, as they say. So so um, like a question like um, Benko, um, are you single or are you... What's your married status? Is it married? Would you say married status? No, I don't is know if it's it ma- marriage. No, I don't know if it's married status. Marital status. Marital status, well, maybe. Oh no, no. Um, yes, single. 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 Yep. Yep. R- ready to mingle? No, I don't know. That's the cheesiest <laughs> thing that I've ever said in my life. Well, um, I'm happily married to my wife Sarah. Got two little munchkins. Uh, so now you know. There you go. There's our hard hitting question for the day. Nice, nice. <laughs> that was that's just a, a tester. I'm just a, testing I mean, it out. That's you know? definitely what the audience yeah. who are watching us want to know. Yeah, they want to know that. Um, you know, I have two children. It's very exciting. Well, they 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 love coming in here and messing about. So mm. it's good stuff. Nice, cool. Well, first episode. How you how are you feeling about this? This is, is great. This, gonna, this is fun. Is I mean, work? it would have been better if my uh, camera stayed on for a little longer, but um, oh, no, I mean, this I works out pretty good. Uh, I just feel like I'm being watched on a security camera, and and <laughs> it's what it looks like for sure. It definitely looks like your <laughs> security camera. You just switched it over mm-hmm. to OBS. Yeah. yeah, that's all right. Well, th- look, at the end of the day, uh, we just need to get this done. We need to get it started, but mostly, mate. Honestly, the, the whole reason we talked about starting this is to hang out more because, you know, we, uh, I know we don't, we live in the same city. Melbourne's pretty big, but it's annoying, you know, for us to travel to each other. And obviously with COVID and then, you know, Art Centre, we work a lot less together, you know, in the, in the room. So we're so remote and we have these long phone conversations all the time, uh, but this is really an excuse to hang out and obviously, you know, what, what is everyone doing these days and they're just putting their life on the internet. But I think we both have very similar tastes. We've talked about this, similar tastes, similar loves and there'll be other people out there that like to hear what we have to say and if they, you know, maybe they don't. <laughs> maybe they want to just rag us on the comments but that's good too. Uh, they'll give us something to talk about. Absolutely, yeah. Um, we encourage all kind of yeah. comments. Let us know if we suck. <laughs> Let us know what you don't like as well. Um, and uh, oh, you need yeah, to it's introduce all, it's all a bit of fun, that, really. Who's that in the background, mate? I only oh, just yeah. saw it. Looked like a ghost. Looked this like side. a ghost just moving, a shadow. A shadow moving yes, in the background. Got a, uh, who's that? This is my border collie pup. Oh, I can't really call her a pup anymore. She's five, but um, she's not. She's quite big. She's quite big now. But um, yeah, my border collie doggo um, called Panda. So she'll be 
occasionally frame bombing us um, through these podcasts, and I'm sure we'll yeah. give you some cute. And picks. if people uh, follow you on Instagram at Ben Co, is it? Also, they'll find yeah, you, Ben Co. Is, yeah, you're right. There'll be lots of photos of panda and sunsets. So. Panda yeah. sunsets and the studio is majority of of that. Um, yeah. Yep. Yep. And you got a fairy Sweet. friend as well. I do have a fairy friend. His name's Bon Bon. He's a French bulldog and he's a handsome devil. And he spends most of his time. He might even be here somewhere hiding. Um, he not. He used to snore real bad, but we got surgery and he doesn't snore anymore. <laughs> Um, he's no, he's not here, but I can't tell because he'll literally just sit quietly in the studio while I'm working about and he just hangs out. He's a great studio dog, as is Panda. I've uh, got to enjoy many cuddles with her too, but no, well, I'm sure both of the pets will feature quite a bit in this channel as well. So, mm. yeah. Well, is there anything we need to talk about or do we just, uh, do we call this our first? episode do we i feel like we haven't really talked about anything meaty like obviously introductions are important people who want to listen to this thing need to know about us um should we just talk a little bit about the kind of things we've done maybe give people a bit of uh i don't know maybe we just spruik ourselves a little bit yeah that uh, sounds what good. do you think yeah maybe i'll ask you and I'll, I'll ask you a few questions and we can start there and bounce back and forth a bit so yeah man so ben you work on films in the post-production yes. area. Yes. And you've actually done quite a few Australian films at this point, haven't you? I have done, uh, what? Uh, I think I'm at about eight feature films, maybe, I think eight. Not all of them have been released, but I've definitely done eight. Mm-hmm. Um, all Australian to my knowledge. I've done a couple of international short films, but all the features are Australian. Mostly horror, not by choice. Uh, just I feel like I'm getting pigeonholed a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, There's a lot of cool sound in horror films though. It's true. They are fun to work on. That's that's definitely true. Uh, I just I think the thing with Australian films or with independent films so is uh, horror is a great genre to work with, right? Because drama, you need a really good story, really good acting, which most of these films have either one or the other. They've got a great story or some great acting or both. But I think for independent people or independent filmmakers, horror, if you've got good practical effects, so you've got a good makeup artist that can create stuff for you, it's just a great genre because you can really like stretch yourselves, you can do something unique. Uh, an action film requires too much special effects. I think like horror is that good mix. And you can do stuff really creatively without it being huge budget wise. So I think that's a lot why particularly independents pick horror as their genre. It could be just that I'm in the, these circles or I just keep getting pigeonholed <laughs> and that there's all these great dramas getting made and I'm not a part of them, which is probably true too. Um, but yeah, so I do films. Um, I guess, should I continue? I, I like, yeah, keep so telling us. You would know. Obviously, I've been doing a bit of work for the Art Centre, but recently I've started mixing for Sydney Opera House as well. So one of our good friends, Amy, uh, who a, was a producer at Art Centre, moved to Sydney Opera House and she's a gun. The team are doing some great work up there. So I've got to start mixing a bunch of their uh, music sort of live concerts. Um, and I've been doing for you guys or through you guys doing um, Melbourne Theatre Company, doing some theatre pre- productions and I love mixing live performance whether it's concerts or theatre there's a good for me it's a good balance of music mixing and what I would say is kind of like film audio post-production I know like you know music concert is all music but I still have to like clean things up you know like a studio recording is pretty just clean and that's all about mic placement choosing the right amps choosing all this you know right mics all that kind of stuff where with live I don't get to make those decisions. I could just get given a multi-track, but there may be feedback noises or um, people in the performance making a mistake in the middle of a concert or the crowd isn't big enough so you need to make them bigger. There's just these little things that to me I would say have that audio editing, audio post kind of vibe. So I think for me live concert has those challenges that uh, you get sort of with a film or that kind of production that you wouldn't get 
with just a studio recording. Um, and I like the I like the whole energy behind a live concert where you get to make people feel like they're or bring people into that experience where they're like watching something and make them or try my best to make them feel like they're actually there. Um, so there's that. Uh, what else am I doing? I do some TVCs. So all this is audio post-production, TVCs, um, so television commercials. Uh, and I've been doing a bunch of video clip stuff as well. So even recently got a couple more video clips where it's just they basically film a story and then they don't capture in the audio on location, maybe the occasional bit of dialogue. So they're like, can you make it full of sound? So I've got to put background sounds, foley, all that stuff to basically feel the fact. Because, you know, video, most music video film guys, they don't take a sound guy. They just film a music video, right? Um, so, you know, there, there's that element as well. Um, uh, uh, what else I'm doing at the moment? Um, well, you just like, finished a um, film, didn't you? Are you allowed to yes. give that a plug? Because maybe, yes. maybe by the time some people are watching this, it could be out at that point. Yes, well, it should be out. So this weekend, so you, it would have already passed because I'm, sh- I'm not sure when we're going to put this episode out. <laughs> but as like tomorrow, or you know, in the states, in New Orleans, uh, Overlook. Uh, film festival so it's one of the bigger horror film festivals in the states is playing our latest film uh, which is godless the eastfield exorcism so look it up because i think by the time this episode comes out there's a good chance it's already on a vod of uh oh you know as we find these things out i'm happy to share them but uh it was actually uh on the news this morning so morning i posted about it but the um i think our Channel 7, so it's a national TV channel. In their morning show, they interviewed the main actor who was in Home and Away. Everyone in the world knows what Home and Away is, don't they? Home and Away is pretty big. Or is it Neighbours uh, that was big? I think I think they're both fairly everyone, big, but I don't know yeah. if everyone knows them. No, not everyone. Most people would know Neighbours, right? Or is it the UK? Because the US didn't really know about Neighbours, did I they? I think it's big in the UK. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, when when I one of our... when I yeah. worked on the show uh, when I first moved to Melbourne, uh, Queensland originally, and um, worked on the show for a little over a year in the camera department, and uh, most of the tours on the tour bus were full of English people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, neighbours and and then Home and Away they were pretty much our two biggest dramas that were filmed in Australia, like original content. So anyway, he, this actor was on that show. Uh, so they interviewed him because of his history and talked about the fact that he was in this film and the big change between being this like, well, I was going to say wholesome. It's probably not wholesome, but this <laughs> home and away, this happy family show, which, you know, it was our soap. It was our soapy show. But anyway, so that that got announced this morning, which is cool. Um, so look, these are, the guys I'm working with on that film are... Uh, uh, from Visible Studios, and I do a lot of work for them. They're a wicked crew. I'm really happy like that they've brought me on board and stuff. So that's good. Um, other than that, like I I want to move one area I want to move into, and that is Dolby Atmos, and that's why I want to upgrade the studio because I'd love to do some up mixing for music. I just think you know you would, and I'd be happy for or love you to talk about my studio and coming in and listening to surround sound, but listening to music through spatial audio with speakers, not just like with headphones. It just, it's stereo is honestly dead to me. And I, I really want to like push um, Dolby Atmos and spatial audio in a sense of like work on it and, you know, elevate music by mixing it in this format. But I would love for us as, you know, cause we're talking about you upgrading your studio to surround sound, but I would love for us to be advocates and promote people to, expand their systems and obviously they're trying everyone you know from apple to sonos are trying to make it more accessible for everyone but sitting and listening to film or sound and it is going to be the things that we talk about is hearing it with being surrounded by it being immersed by it is just next level uh and so that's definitely somewhere that i want to move into as well so Mm. and like there's a part of like you know working with um sydney opera house and art center and stuff like we're still doing all that stuff in stereo And unfortunately, it's more because of the um, streaming services that we're putting this stuff onto. But 
it's not going to be long before a lot of these services are all, you know, within Atmos and I'm just excited to be able to move into that space. So Ben, tell me about yourself. So you said you worked at, you work at Art Centre running the broadcast team there. Um, you should talk about that because that's really solid work and then move into your extracurriculars after that. Tell me about what you do at Art Centre, mate. What's your, what's your, you're the boss man. Tell me what you do there. <laughs> I, my day job is working down at the art centre in the city, in Melbourne City, and uh, I look after an amazing team uh, in the broadcast and digital department um, and we record shows, we produce documentary work and also create video content for the hirers of the art centre, the departments of the art centre and the whole arts precinct around Victoria. So... Um, quite a wide range of stuff that we do there and we've got a, a really great team to produce all that work. Um, so that's the sort of the daytime Monday to Friday. When I'm not there, I am mastering some music. I work for um, a bunch of producers and artists up in Queensland and, and quite a few in Melbourne as well. Um, so regularly mastering their tracks. Um, these days, mostly singles, being that we're in a, uh, a single culture for tunes. Yeah. Um, so uh, we've got a great workflow with a handful of producers that I do all their work. So essentially that once they've got a track ready, they just throw it in our Dropbox and uh, send me a text and I'll flick it back to them um, in one or two days or, or so. Um, yeah, and using those delicious Amphians that you've got. Yeah, the Amphians definitely make the work very easy. Um, if you're not <laughs> familiar with Amphian speakers, give them a Google. Um, they're a Finland company, a bit of a boutique speaker maker. Um, and their slogan is beautifully honest and uh, it's pretty accurate. Um, yeah, I would say that's the best slogan for those monitors for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, when it's right, it's beautiful and when it's not right, they're honest. Yeah, um, so, <laughs> it hurts. Um, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I've heard some of my old, particularly old mixes on there and yeah, it made me, uh, my eyes cried and my ears bled. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But they really guide you into it. They really tell you what needs addressing. So from a mastering mm. point of view, um, they're absolutely um, incredible tools to know where it's at and where it needs to be. Um, so mm. and if mastering interests you, yeah, um, hit us up on the YouTube channel that I'm about to start um, on the address that we gave you earlier. Um, hopefully we'll give you some tutorials there. So other than mastering uh, other people's tracks, you also do some composition. Well, that, yeah. that's your passion, right? Like writing music is really like even if it's not what you're doing a lot, it's really where you want to be going, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, lo I love writing music, um, both working with artists to finish their songs and produce their songs in the studio um, and also working with filmmakers to tell their stories and um, writing music to propel that forward. Um, so I've done some pretty regular work with Kaz Creations um, run by Clayton and Zane. Um, great bunch of filmmakers um, have produced a bunch of cool sci-fi short films, um, which is a really cool genre to, to play around in. Um, it is. And uh, so that was a bit of fun. And uh, also with a couple other filmmakers, I, I tend to, you know how you were saying earlier, Ben, that you... Um, tend to get pulled into the horror genre and the, a lot. I tend to get pulled into the sci-fi genre um, and any time, like sad stories, a lot of sad stories actually. Um, <laughs> so I don't know what that says about you're my an music. Emotional, yeah, you're an emotional <laughs> beast in all um, areas. Oh, I'm jealous, mate. Sci-fi is awesome. I, I would love, like even in Australia there's some great, like not directly like space but, you know, sci-fi in the broadest term I would love to really dive more into that. I got to work on a cool little short film that was a little bit like set to the future, um, just a cute love story, um, but they use technology, you know, these little, it was almost like a Siri in a box uh, <laughs> and it would, they would talk to it, you know, about they saw someone else in a cafe, there was a guy and a girl and they both had these boxes saying to them, you should go talk to them. And this Siri character was talking to them and encouraging them to go and they like, the Siri character would check out their profile and say, oh, they like this and that. You should, you know, definitely go and chat with them. Uh, you know, it was cute, but it, like that's not really, it is sort of, it's sci-fi in the sense that it's 
bit in the future, but I mean, that was not close. You know, it was still fun. It was a great short film, but I would love to be able to move into, you know, some of the stuff you've been doing. So we need to track down those uh, sci-fi enthusiasts and do some creating. Absolutely, um, yeah. It's a, um, yeah. Melbourne's actually got quite a lot of, in the short film space anyway, quite a lot of um, creative filmmakers and yeah. um, uh, there's a, re- a lot of really cool stuff coming from Melbourne. Um, yeah. And I'm, I'm currently on the hunt for the next project myself. So if you're a filmmaker and you're listening to this, um, check out my website. And if you like the music that you hear on there, let's talk. Let's get some uh, music going for your film. Um, and, uh, yeah, and uh, so apart from um, mastering and, and music writing, um, occasionally I'll get approached for a bit of session guitar work. So um, obviously I have a studio here in um, in my house. So um, I get tracks sent to me and I'll play over their tracks and then send the files back to the producer or the mixer, whoever's putting the track together. Um, so I've been doing actually a bit more and more of that lately, which has been really fun. Um, so... Got to use all those guitars behind you, right? I'm starting to justify <laughs> the collection of yeah, guitars. Um, yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. Nice. And um, yeah, yep. And uh, yeah, oh, a little good. bit of mixing as well. Um, uh, I, I would say I do less mixing these days than I did in the past, and I still very much enjoy mixing. Um, but I'm finding more and more um, producers uh, mixing themselves, um, and also a lot of artists learning to mix and produce themselves. So even a lot of the masters that I'm doing for these artists are self-produced and self-mixed artists um, or tracks and um, which sometimes makes it a little harder for the mast- for the mastering process um, uh, being that they're not, they're not normally mixed in the most amazing rooms with good acoustic treatment. So there's maybe sometimes a little bit more to address um, to make it feel yeah. balanced but um, yeah. it's really great to see the artists have that control and the power and being able to produce stuff. Um, the pandemic, of course, not that we want to talk about that for too long, but that created a real opportunity for artists to produce music from home. And I've, I've seen a lot yeah. of that stayed um, since then, which is really, really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I get like, I guess the reason it's obviously this is our first episode. So, you know, we, this will become more conversational between us too, but I think it's important for us to let people know who we are what we've come from, I we're not planning on this being real tech heavy. You know, we're definitely going to talk about what we're doing because this is going to be, as we say, a conversation with Ben. It's about us chatting about what we're doing, what we're interested in, what news we hear about. Like it'll be about things we're interested in. So it's all this stuff, compositions, whatever. Like it'll be the latest TV show. You know, one thing I was thinking is, you know, we need to watch we could probably get recommendations from people like, did you see this film? You know, if you're listening and you think there's a piece of content that you think we should watch out, whether it's, you know, even Ben constantly sends me uh, um, the recordings or, or like live performance YouTube videos, things like that. So, you know, we're big fans of Pomplamoose and um, uh, is it Scary Pocket? What's the other group? <laughs> Scary Pockets, yep. Scary it is, yeah. Um, and stuff like that. But we like constantly you'll send me scores to listen to or that's the kind of thing that we're into. We want to see like great live concerts, great live performances, you know, great ta- TV. Like The Last of Us is huge at the moment, Ben, and I still haven't watched it. So it's the kind of thing I, that we should, <laughs> yeah, we should sit down and watch some of it and chat through that. And obviously we're going to be talking about this mostly sound stuff and score. So soundtrack, score, uh, you know, but we want to talk about it in not layman's terms but you know, people who just love sound, love sound for picture. Um, And I think it's important to know where we come from and where we're going and how interested we are, but also our chops, like both of us, I would say, uh, doing well in our careers. Uh, We obviously both could go a long way (laughs) further as well. Uh, But we've got broad backgrounds, we've got broad interests. So I think that will dictate sort of where this podcast go goes or this conversation goes as well. So, um, yeah, but at the end of the day, this is episode one, right? We'll just see what happens. We're just going to chat and if we b- get an audience, we'll probably move things and change things as they uh, bark at us or, yeah. you know, we'll just see where this thing goes. But um, Absolutely. And yeah. if you're watching at this point of this first episode, <laughs> 
Firstly, that's amazing. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Um, secondly, uh, sorry <laughs> about my camera. The, yeah, especially with <laughs> um, the Tekka cheese. Yeah. The internet's dropped out at least three times. Yeah, so ignore yeah. the jump cuts. That was just us reconnecting the stream, um, you know. Um, and if you are Australian watching it, internet. We should talk about the NBN and how much Australia's internet sucks. That's a good We want to keep this pretty positive, Ben. Oh, okay, um, sorry, yeah. So Australia's great. Love Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Australia. NBN though, Australia. Um, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so if you are watching at this point, um, what, what should we get them to throw in the comments just so we know? Like if you're watching at this a point. hello? Could, <laughs> yeah, give us a hello. Um, an eggplant emoji. Eggplant. Give us a, give us a bit of the plant in, in the comments below if you're watching at this point, uh, which is quite yeah. impressive. Um, thank you for giving us, you know, 40 minutes of your time. And um, <laughs> yeah, probably not forty minutes by the time we cut all the crap. So well, it's forty nine minutes on my <laughs> clock here, so I already cut nine minutes out in my head. Um. <laughs> yeah, but it's probably about twenty minutes of trash. But we, cool. look, we've decided we're keeping it in, right? Like this is yeah. we want this to be raw. It's a fun conversation, and yeah, if you don't like it, you yeah, know, there's better podcasts to listen to. So absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Well. I feel like this is this is the uh, the wrap up of the first one. What do you think, Ben? Sounds great, mate. It's been fun hanging out with you, and I'm honestly pumped. This is going to be great, uh, great just for us as mates, just to catch up. Great to uh, talk shop, and because this is what we do, we do like this is when we get more comfortable with the podcast. People are going to really see how good we are at just talking shit to each other. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm really excited, mate. So. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to chatting with you next week. Yep, sounds good. See, See you then. then. Bye.